that caused a retaining wall to collapse on Dubuque's bluffs. Mm. During repairs, the city discovered much of the bluff was not stable. That's right, Tara. In fact, that prompted then a major, major construction effort. And tonight, News Channel 7's Lauren Squire shows us the difference it should make this spring. Deep within the limestone blocks of Dubuque's famous bluff lay years of erosion from wet spring weather. They look like large blocks, but actually what they are is the front block that you see up here was like a well, decorative fascia stone. Behind that front, three to four feet of limestone rubble hauled in to build part of the bluffs more than 100 years ago, which explains why in April 2008, one of the wettest springs Dubuque has ever seen, several walls collapsed. We were on it right away. Uh, fortunately, nobody got hurt. Uh, we had some property damage. Now this new wall sits above the Teresa shelter built using new technology to make both a safer and more cost-effective wall. You're constructing this from the bottom up. You're putting a layer of, of stone, limestone in the front of that wall. Behind that, you're putting in a probably a two-foot layer of concrete. A high-density foam called geofoam replaces the limestone rubble, making a stronger base for the wall. You can, you can drive trucks across uh, the styrofoam, uh, walk on it, and there's very little deflection at all uh, on this material. And a lot less pressure on the stone wall, making it safer for people below. Dean says the city is currently rebuilding two other walls and plans to build three more this spring. And with the years and weather these bluffs have seen, he says these renovations are long overdue. I'm sure beyond what the original designer had intended, I don't, it outlived their lifetime. In Dubuque, Lauren Squires, Iowa's News Channel 7. By the way, city engineers say if you notice a city wall deteriorating, please call the City of Dubuque Engineering Department right away.